In this video, we're going to talk about the curve tools. And also, if we go here on the top, we will find also curve tools here and also in the toolbar on the left side. So we're going to use these curve tools in Rhino to modify the 2D drawings and shapes that we created in the previous video. So we saw how we can create vector graphics and shapes and also how we can use this for something similar to AutoCAD. So we can create, for example, uh, architectural plans, architectural views. We can create product design, blueprints and industrial design drawings. So we can do a lot of things here in Rhino. We can just use Rhino for 2D if we want. So let's get started here. And I will start with the fillet and chamfer. So first of all, let's create here a shape that we can chamfer. Well, we actually have already some, but let's create a new one so that we can also talk about additional stuff. So if I create here a line and I create another line snapped to this other, we can use, well, actually let's use the 2D view it's more appropriate when we work in 2D. Okay, so here we can use the different tools here. Well, let's use the fillet curve first. So select first curves to fillet and the second curve and that's it, that's your fillet right there. Now, as we did with the 2D creation, we can also change some options so for example here you can change the radius. Let's make this 1000 instead of 60. Uh, you will see that the, co the command won't work because you need to insert something that is between the length of these two. So be careful. You need to understand what your units are and what's your limit. So let's say 100 and there you go. Now it works. So each time you use a command always check here because you have other options that you can select or not. So also here we are doing another operation which is trimming this line here into three pieces basically instead of two. Now let's do another one and this time I want to use a polyline. Okay. So the polyline is basically two lines combined together here. And let's use the chamfer now. So let's click chamfer and again you can set the, well you don't have the um, roundness here so you just need to select the distance. Now one is really small so let's set this like 200, that's the first and then let's say 100, that's the second. And so let's click one and two and there you go. So I have a chamfer which is 100 here and 200 here and let's go with the next one which is connect now connect it's uh, something similar so let's say that I create something like that which is not perfectly closed I can do that and it's gonna finish the line for me and then we have these other types of uh, blending curves together let me show you another one so let's move here so this could be also separated. They don't have to be united. So this one here is the, well, fillet corners, you need to have a corner. This one is adjustable curve blend. So if you click here and you click here, you can see that you can now adjust this. You can insert more points. There you go. So it can become something really defined and also you can say okay now I want tangency or I want to maintain the position for one the position for two that's the chamfer again so you can see here you have more options basically you can also show the curvature here you need to probably increase the scale to see the curvature okay and that's another option now when you have these fillet corners you need to select poly curves. So, for example, you can use it here. Press enter, choose the radius, let's say 60, 
press again and there you go so you chamfer uh, sorry you fill it it's going to all the different angles there so it's uh, faster when you have uh, polylines and you want to do that for everything also here you can do that there you go and what else we we can match the curve we can do arc blend but it's the this is all gonna be similar to what we saw so it's basically trying to unite two different curves so let's create this one okay and here you can change this arc and press enter and this symmetry also you can use it in any object let's use it here for example so let's go for symmetry define the endpoint and you also have here this panel which is going to open the transform uh, you have something similar which is the mirror so you can use also mirror because sometimes when you use the symmetry is gonna like connect everything together let's use this one for example now you also have the join when you want to join two segments together and then you can mirror this like that okay and you can see where what symmetry sorry yeah what symmetry does it kind of sort of um, attached all the different edges of that polyline now next one also it's uh, interesting here is the show control points and we already talked about that so any shape you will create you can always edit that back now depends also how many points it has it's gonna be more difficult or less difficult in this case it's gonna be difficult so if this is on I can show the control points or not so you you click and press enter okay and then you can start to manipulate here with all these curve points like that I think I have oh that's my my spiral here so it's um it's more complex but we can do that with any other object so just select one press enter and these are the controls vertices so you we already talked about that you you have two different ways you have control vertices and interpolation vertices so you can create any shape you can create logos with these vector graphics like illustrator